Docker is a platform that enables developers to package, deploy, and run applications in a lightweight portable container. Docker containers wrap a piece of software in a complete file system that contains everything needed to run, including code, runtime, system tools, libraries, and settings. Docker allows developers to easily move applications between development, testing, and production environments without worrying about the differences in underlying infrastructure. By packaging Rockium components and GPU-accelerated applications within a Docker container, developers can easily deploy their applications across various environments, ensuring consistent behavior and performance. Docker containers encapsulate all dependencies, including the Rockium runtime and libraries. This allows developers to run GPU-accelerated applications on any system with Docker and compatible AMD GPUs without worrying about installing specific versions of Rockium or other dependencies. Containers are also provided by AMD with pre-installed versions of popular machine learning libraries like PyTorch and TensorFlow. This enables programmers to simply use these containers to run their machine learning applications without having to perform a time-consuming setup. Next, we will download Docker images from AMD Docker Hub repository. Docker images are self-contained and reproducible packages that bundle an application with its dependencies and configurations. They serve as the basis of creating and running Docker containers, providing everything necessary for the application to run consistently across different environments. The Rockium slash Rockium terminal Docker image which we will use to run Rockium enabled applications can be easily obtained from the AMD Docker Hub repository using the docker pull command. This command fetches the latest version of the image and stores it on your local system. Once we download the Rockium slash Rockium terminal Docker image using the docker pull command, we can run a Docker container based on this image using the docker run command. Docker will launch a bash shell inside the container and we can interact with it using the command line interface. We can now use the container to run Rockium enabled applications or microservices just as we could on a system with Rockium installed. When we are done, we can exit the container by typing exit and pressing enter. This will stop the container and return to our local systems terminal. In the next video, we will summarize this unit of the series.